So we had uh, uh, plants in, in Maharashtra and Murund and a plant in Baddi and other network of, uh, of plants in India. I think we looked at uh, serving the South Indian consumer and customers, which is a growing business and the largest uh, uh, part of the country, by having a facility in South of India. And this is about uh, catering to the needs of a growing business and serving the consumers in India. We have our own plant in, uh, in Mulund and a plant in Baddi. And we have other locations which we work with our external manufacturing partners. Uh, in phase one, we're looking at about 1,500 jobs direct and, 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 and indirect put together. At this stage, we're working the details out, but then that's, that's the number we're looking at in phase one. So if you look at the consumer business, our, our largest business is, is, is baby care. Uh, we are number one there. We are a very strong player in feminine hygiene as well uh, with our iconic brands like Stay Free. And we also participate in the uh, facial skin care market with Clean and Clear. We have iconic brand and Band-Aid in the wound care market. We also have products in oral care for Listerine and cough and cold for Benadryl. That's just to give you a flavor of some of the <coughs> portfolio we have. This is the business of Johnson & Johnson in India, some of the largest brands. Here we are focusing on our baby <coughs> care products and, and facial care products in the first phase. So today what I'm here to talk about is the facility that we're setting up in Telangana and how can we expand and serve our consumers there. So that's, that's what I would like to focus on. Our primary focus here is to serve the domestic market because as we know, India is a growing market. And, and uh, we are forecasting our needs for 2020 and beyond. So phase one is largely focused on serving domestic uh, business. We, we will always explore uh, new product rollouts in our core businesses in the, in the remaining few years. And I think whatever is the right decision for citing that product in baby care or in clinic care, we will explore that accordingly. But the facility is capable uh, because it's, it's a state-of-the-art manufacturing plant with the latest technology. It's capable of producing many platforms and products in the future. These are uh, products to be. Dis these are products for all of India, but we wanted to be close to where our largest market is. South India is the largest market, and our brands are very, very strong. And as we, as our business grows, we wanted to be closer to our customers and consumers. And as and we expand our range, that's the reason why we've chosen to be here in Telangana. So we are here to provide the safest, mildest, gentlest products, the highest quality to our consumers. And it, is, it does not matter whether they are developed in India or whether they are developed by a global network. Our end purpose is to serve our consumers and make sure that health and well-being of Indian mothers and other, other categories is being served well. So there, there may be possibilities of developing products which are led out of India, which also are applicable to other emerging markets. No, so I, th I think we've been, we are the market leaders of the baby business. I think we have the iconic brand and we have the business around the world. So we will always continue to look at the best talent, technology, access to the best, uh, best R&D to provide whatever are the best products required by the Indian mothers. So the fiscal incentive, which are part of the state industrial policy, which are applicable to all the mega projects will be applicable to us as well. So I represent the consumer business, but I'm sure if there are opportunities, you know, uh, we will always be looking for that. But right now, I represent the consumer business, so I will be able to talk only about the consumer business strategy. Uh, we have affiliate markets in the neighboring countries, some of whose requirements are serviced from India, and some of whose requirements will be serviced by other manufacturing plants in a global supply chain network. Can you, can you uh, just, to, just as an example, Sri Lanka and Bangladesh would probably import some of their requirements from j, &J India manufacturing plants just as they will import some of the requirements from the other manufacturing plants in the uh, region as well. So at this, at, at this stage, uh, we continue to focus on building this plant to serve the need of the domestic business. That's our priority right now. We, as we develop our plants, we'll be exploring all of those uh, in a question. I think, it's, I think at this stage, I would, I would not be able to answer that. Yeah, it's a great question. So we wanted to have a geographic location that's closer to our consumers and customers. We want to have a place that has good infrastructure a place where the industrial policy is supported to the business. And we looked at many options, but we settled on Telangana. We are quite pleased with the progress we made so far. And I think with the Honorable Chief Minister coming and laying the foundation stone and assuring us of all the support, we look forward to a productive partnership. We are able to, we, we, we hope that we are able to commercialize our operations exactly as per our plans in the project. I wouldn't be able to give you a number, but I think India is a very important market for JNJ in the world. Uh, and we have been growing very, very fast. We are growing ahead of the market, cat, local market and category. We are also growing much faster than the rest of the Asia-Pacific region. So j, j considers India as a priority market, a strategic market. And that's why this investment, which is housed in the state of Telangana, is a signal that j, &J will support all the growth plans of the Indian market. I can assure you, so there is published data that Ransom will share with you. So where you can see our growths in categories where we operate. 
for example, in baby care, in facial care, in feminine hygiene, you will see our growth have been very, very fast. We've been improving market share, growing much ahead of the market. So I think we see an exciting future in India, and we're very happy to be building a, a scale into a much larger footprint for India, uh, J&J India in the years to come. So baby toiletries market is growing very, very fast because uh, all mothers would like to give the safest, gentlest, best products for their babies. So as we know, even in difficult times, people cut back on other categories, but usually they would want to give their babies the best. Yeah. So at this stage, I think I would, wouldn't get into that. I would get into that we see a lot of growth. We need capacity expansion. We are not moving any volumes from our other plants. Our other plants are, are, are performing very, very well. We'll continue to expand and invest in them as necessary. But we see an opportunity for us to support our growth with an, you know, with an investment of this size. So this is our largest manufacturing plant. Once it's ready, it will be our largest manufacturing plant in India. That should give you a sense of the opportunity we see in India. It will give you a sense of the requirements that our future business will need as for us to be able to satisfy our aspirations of serving the Indian consumer. It, it caters to, let me correct that, the plan caters to all India, but we wanted to have a facility in yes, South India South. because we did not Closer have, your, uh, yeah, and, and we wanted to have a larger facility in South India because it's a very, very important market for us. So when we develop a, 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 a footprint, we look at all options and multiple considerations. There's a global supply chain team that looks at that in terms of should it be in-house or should it be external manufacturing, should it be located in the country or outside the country. So we went through a very thorough and a, and a proper global evaluation and then we came to the right conclusion that what we were looking for could be best satisfied by locating the facility here. Today I am very pleased to share that we are excited about the fact that the foundation stone has been laid. We see a, a good progress being made in the future. We see the ability to generate employment, support the local community. And I think we're excited about we're excited about the plans going forward. At this moment, it's premature. Right now, our focus is to build this facility. And as I said, the, the reason we're saying phase one is there is scope to expand further should the volumes grow even faster than our plans. So at this stage, our real focus is to make sure that we are able to commence commercial production in this facility towards the end of 2016 as per our plans. Thank you. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you.